and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming some of my favorite road trip necessities. Like these are my essentials. Like I have to bring these on any kind of road trip um, that I go on. If you guys didn't watch my last video, you should totally go check it out. I will leave it down in the description and I will put it also up in the cards so you guys can go check that out. Uh, my last video I did, I filmed my road trip to Austin, Texas where I met Lily Singh. It was like the funnest trip ever um, and I brought all these things that I'm going to show you with me on that trip and they were very, very um, essential to me and they like, they were just awesome. It was so great to bring everything, everything I brought I used. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to show you guys what I brought today. So if you are interested in seeing my road trip essentials, then go ahead and keep watching. So my first road trip essential is a bag. Of course, you're going to need something to carry all of this in. And I am using this bag right here. Um, I got it at Soil. It's an online shop and it's, I think it's only online, honestly. I don't know if they have right, like actual shops. But um, I got it on sale for like $20. It was like originally $100 and I got it on sale. Also, I have used this bag as a purse in the past. Like in one of my videos, I think it was uh, What's in My Bag. It was like a fall version. Um, I did that. I have used this as a purse before. This is a great road trip bag because one, it has like, it's like a backpack so you could carry it on your shoulders. It's also a great bag to carry on your arm or your shoulder or anything like that. So it's just a really easy bag and I knew that I didn't want to bring a purse. I wanted to bring something that I could put everything in that everything that I needed would be accessible to me because I only brought two bags. I brought my main bag which had my clothes and everything else that I didn't really need with me like on the trip. I mean, I needed it obviously, but I didn't need it like on the road or anything like that. So that was like in the back and this was with me at all times. So this was like my lifesaver. Um, and yeah, so let's get into this bad boy. So I'm opening up, well let's start on the bottom, let's start with the pocket. So I'm going to start with this pocket right here. Um, and in this pocket, I kept my phone. Of course, my phone is something that I needed, <laughs> like that was like my favorite thing. I used it to like um, look up maps and things like that. Um, I used it for music, for audiobooks. One of my favorite apps is audible.com, not sponsored, but I love that app so, so much. and. Um, I used it literally like the whole time I would just be like laying there listening um, using my headphones which I'll show you guys in a second um, and I mean it was just a lifesaver honestly I loved it it kept me entertained that's for sure so next I brought my iPhone charger of course you're gonna need a charger and if you ask me which most chargers come like this you want USB because sometimes you can plug it straight into your car or whatever um, so that is awesome and this was really really handy obviously through the trip kept my phone charged and I film on my phone so it was very handy for me <laughs> Next, I'm going to zip this pocket right here, and I've got a couple things in there. Um, first, I'm going to pull out my sunglasses. These were very essential to me because my eyes are super duper sensitive whenever it comes to the sun, and also it was a lot easier for me to fall asleep, uh, you know, if I had my sunglasses on because it wasn't so bright and things like that. Um, another thing that I brought are, of course, my headphones that I was talking about a second ago. These were very, very essential to me, like very beneficial because I was able to listen to music. Also, if you're like in a car and other people are listening to music, you could still listen to your own or listen to audiobooks or whatever, watch videos, all kinds of stuff. I was able to do that with these. Next, I brought a travel size perfume. This is so good because if you're in a car for like five hours, it's perfect to freshen up. Um, and this is a travel size. So all you have to do is just roll it on your arm. And you know, it's awesome. Um, this is the Michael Kors. I honestly don't know what kind. It's just Michael Kors. But it's really good. It smells so good. And you can get these travel sizes in like any kind of perfume you want. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. I love that. Okay, that's all for this pocket right here. Next, we're going to get into the big guy. <laughs> the big zipper. Here we go. So first thing I'm pulling out out of the big zipper is a water bottle. 
I wanted to find a smaller water bottle, but it's very, very necessary to find a bottle that does not leak. And that was really, really hard for me because I wanted to make sure that I got a, a water bottle that did not leak um, and things like that. So I got this one. It's my favorite. It says girls just want to have fun, which like don't we all? Um, and it just it just screws on and off and it's like really easy and it does not leak. You can screw it super duper tight and it does not leak. It's just the best thing ever. I love that water bottle. Um, and it kept me super hydrated like the whole time. <laughs> Next, I am pulling out my Bluetooth speaker because this was handy to me um, in the car. Um, and it was also handy like in the hotel room while I was getting ready and all that stuff. This is just so awesome. I love this. This is the Jam Classic. I got it at Walmart and this is literally my favorite speaker to buy. It's super cheap. It was only like... I think it, no, I don't know, I don't remember, it wasn't that cheap, it was like either 20 or 30 dollars, but it's so worth it, I mean, it's, I mean, I guess, it just depends on your price range, but it's really, really good for the money in it, the battery life is amazing, it gets super duper loud, and I love it so, so much, so I had to bring that along on my trip, that is like definitely one of my essentials, you gotta have a speaker, um, so next, I am pulling out some Germex. This is really, really good because if you're in a spot where you can't wash your hands um, or they, you know, you're somewhere that doesn't have like soap to wash your hands um, or whatever, you just want to get your hands nice and clean. This is very, very good to keep on you and yeah, I love it. It's definitely one of my essentials. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to pull out is my little emergency kit. This has a whole bunch of different things that will help you if you get in a bind or whatever. Um, and I feel like this is definitely necessary. It's necessary to bring along some sort of emergency kit because you never know what could happen. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a hairband. This was really awesome to have because I would put it on in the car and it would prevent like my hair just like blowing everywhere on my face. It kind of kept my hair out of my face. Um, and it kept me cool and things like that. So that was awesome to have. Also, I brought some hair ties um, and things like that. Bobby pins because, I mean, it's just awesome to have these things. And I brought a ton because you never know if somebody might need one or two. And also, these things are like really, really easy to lose. So I wanted to make sure to bring quite a few of them. Next, I brought some napkins because we stopped for food quite a bit. And it's awesome to have napkins on you, especially um, if they don't give you napkins or if you spill something on you or just whatever may happen. Um, it's just good to have these around. Next, I brought some little Advil packets. These were very, very essential to me because I got a headache not once, but twice on this trip. And also, they're very good for, you know, like if somebody else has a headache or something like that. So, I used two of these already. I brought four, used two, but they're very good to have. Next, I brought band-aids. Thankfully, we did not have to use these, but they are also good to have in case of an emergency. Um, like I said, you never know what could happen. Um, and yeah, so I'm really glad I brought them, even though I did not need them. Uh, next, I brought some lip balm. I use this stuff all the time because the air was so, so dry in the car and things like that. So it was really, really good to bring this from pre preventing chap lips because for some reason on a road trip, like whenever I went to Las Vegas um, and it was like a two, 22 hour, hour drive, like whenever we got there, my lips were so, so chapped. So I was like, I'm definitely gonna bring it this time even though it's not that long of a drive. <laughs> so that's it for this little guy. Um, and the next thing that I'm gonna pull out is my little money pouch. I did not want to bring a purse. I just wanted to bring this bag and my other bag, my big bag that had all my clothes and stuff in it. And I wanted my money very, very accessible to me, just in and out. Everything is in this little pouch. Any cash, coins, cards, ID, everything is right in here and it was so good. I would definitely, definitely recommend this. Nothing got lost. Everything was in and out. I would just take this out if I was anywhere. I definitely recommend this over a wallet. I know a wallet would be like just too much and things would be everywhere. This is just good because everything is in one confined space. So I definitely recommend bringing like a little pouch for your money um, and it really helped me. I didn't lose anything or anything like that which was my biggest 
biggest fear. I was so scared I was going to lose one of my cards or my ID or something. And everything was kept safely in this little pouch. Next, I am pulling out my selfie stick. This was super, super awesome to have because not only did I film on my phone, but I also took pictures on this guy, and it's just awesome. Um, you could just pull it out like this, and you could take super, like, high pictures of yourself from, like, super far up, and it's good for groups and all that stuff. Um, and I really, really loved it. I also used this for vlogging on my phone, like I said, video up in the cards. Um, and yeah, it was really, really awesome to have. I knew I definitely wanted to bring that along. <laughs> Next, I have a little brush um, because I didn't want to bring a super, super big brush uh, along because, you know, that's just too big, too bulky. So I just bought this guy. Um, and it worked out perfect for me because I needed to brush my hair in the car before we, you know, got out and went places um, and things like that. So this was very helpful for me. Is there anything else in here? I think that that is it. Let me make sure. Yep, okay, that is it for the big zipper. And now I'm going to go ahead and open this zipper. And the last thing is in here. So... Last but not least is my wet wipes. These are great to have because you never know when you'll get yourself in a sticky situation. So these were awesome to have. Um, you know, you might be in the car and you just kind of want to freshen up or whatever. Or you, you know, after you eat or whatever the case may be. These are also antibacterial. So they pretty much clean your hands for you. These are also a good alternative to hand sanitizer even though I brought both. They're also good, I'm sure, for little ones and things like that. Um, but they were perfect for me and I'm a big kid, but <laughs> I always love my wet wipes. Alright, well that is it you guys. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you loved it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe um, if you are new. I post videos every single Wednesday. That is my new day now and yeah so that is it let me know in the comments what your favorite road trip essential is and i will see you guys in my next one stay beautiful Mwah. bye